Unemployment has hit record highs in Georgia, and it's affecting more women than men. The latest numbers show that 16.2 percent of women are now out of work. That is the highest number. It hasn't been a double-digit number like that since these numbers were tracked by gender, and that started in 1948, according to The Washington Post. Tracy A. McPeer joins us with more. Tracy, we hear from people every day, especially moms, who are really going through a terribly difficult time right now. That's right. And as we know, many industries have been hit hard by the pandemic. But some of those industries, like hospitality and child care, employ a much larger number of women than men. Now, I talked to some of those workers today who say when it comes to getting back to work, it's not just whether there's a job available. There are now other factors at play. There's a sense of comfort with having another female taking care of a, a child. It's a traditional idea. In fact, Quinn Fordham says almost every one of the nannies and sitters she places in homes through her business are women. 499 women, one man. And due to COVID-19, most of those women are no longer working. We have gone very quiet. Another group of workers hit hard by the pandemic, dental hygienists, with many dentist offices forced to close. According to the American Dental Hygienist Association, 98% of all dental hygienists are women. And even as restrictions are eased, many are still out of work, like Sue Depart, who after 38 years of work got a phone call she won't forget. Saying that we would be closed until further notice and that the person at the front office was applying for unemployment for the staff. Dupart says it reminds her of when AIDS was on the forefront years ago. She predicts when they start back in June, some things may change, like checking in from the parking lot and discontinuing the use of certain cleaning equipment. We might be going back to just paste polishing and then having people rinse with a, a mouthwash prior to examining their mouth. She says her kids are older and she'll be okay. But Fordham says many of the sitters that she would normally be placing are trying to take care of their own kids since school buildings aren't open. So even if a job is available, they are not. Homeschooling, cooking, cleaning, scaling back their, their own day-to-day -day lives so that they can handle what has been dealt their way. Now, according to the Washington Post, even as things start to open back up, some industries like leisure and hospitality could still see cuts. And economists say that even after this is all over, low wage jobs, which are disproportionately given to women, are going to be the ones that are least likely to be rehired.